Oh. One, two, one, two. Oh my gosh. Oi, right, selector. What have we got here? I was born ready, Selector. Come on. Yeah, man, I, I miss those days, man. I miss those days. It's more magic back in the day. To even want to MC was like, oh, you want to do that? No one was doing it. The first time I started MCing on Jungle was 95. A couple of my mates at school was into it as well. And then I had a beatboxing don. He had big nostrils as well, you get me, brother? The beeline was sick, so. <laughs> he had a little woofer system on his nostrils, you get me? Yeah, man, we used to muck about, and then that's how it all started. I went to my boy's yard. My first DJ I ever had, DJ Riggy. So I used to go there and practice. So one day before I went there, I just wrote down everybody I knew and then every now and again I'd go to the paper and I was just like, right, big up, boom, boom, boom. After we recorded the set, we'd give it out to everyone and then somehow people just made copies and copies and I just used to think of other things besides spitting bars, hosting skills. Even the way I talk, oh my God, it's like it's entertaining and probably that's how the echo came in. That's me, me. This wasn't even for radio. This was me wanting to communicate with the people. You know what? I come across some tapes the other day, I'm not going to lie. DWE at 15. <laughs> right, these are, these are the tapes from back in the day now, yeah? These are from before the year 2000. You know how I know that, yeah? If you know about Spectrum and Commodore 64 and Amstrad and all that, back in the day, the games were on cassette tapes. I recorded over the game with my music, you get me? So I know this ain't the game. TDK 120 minutes worth of exclusives. Jesus, both sides. I haven't seen these tapes for at least 15 years, bro. Get me? It's like a kinder surprise right now. DAA 15 and all that. Yo, nah. nobody's got the body that you've got. The body that you've got, too hot. When I saw the body, I was in shock. My bottom lip dropped. She knew what I was thinking. I was on a station called Flavor FM with 187, and Nasty Q was on after us. I also met Buff Squad on the station. They were super young, super young. Tinchy Shrider went to my school. Sharky went to my school. And then Sharky approached me in school and was like, yeah, man, why don't you join Nasty Crew? And I jumped on it. It was just like me, Sharky, Mac 10, Storming, and Armour, then Kano. And even Hyper, when I went to Nasty Crew, I brought Jammer with me. I brought Footsie with me. I brought Monkey with me. We was actually signing sick, so... Like anyone we brought on to do a guest slot, when they went back to their ends, they felt the heat, do you know what I mean? We was mainly on just spitting, like it wasn't changed. My attitude towards music was like animal attitude, man. It's important for me to be me. That's the main thing. If we look at the photos of me before I was anyone, this is what you're going to see. But yeah, I'm not trying to keep up with many times. I got my own time. <laughs> <laughs>